compression amplifier frequency response curve this is frequency response means let us suppose I am applying an input signal with varying input frequency at the input side of the up amp what is the output I will get at the output terminal if we draw a curve between different input frequencies I mean, means uh, I am applying a signal by varying its frequency at different levels and observing the output of the amplifier and plotting the voltage gain versus a change in frequency okay from this frequency response curve we can see that the product of gain and frequency is constant at any point of the curve see here what is the product of a gain and frequency this is 10 power minus 1.1 this is 10 10 into 100 is 100 here 10 into 10 power 1 so see here 10 square 100 what is this product of gain against frequency see gain bandwidth what is this bandwidth also that the unity gain 0 dB frequencies determines the gain of the amplifier at any point of the curve this is constant generally gain bandwidth product see here gain bandwidth product is a 10 into 10,000 Hz so this is the unity gain why unity gain this is a log dB scale 20 log 1 equal to 0 this is 20 log a scale 20 log a scale if 20 log a equal to 0 a should be 1 20 log a equal to 0 means a should be 1 in this case a is taken as 10 that is 20 log a equal to 20 a equal to 10 okay a equal to 10 at this point 20 log a is 20 so log db is 20 normal value is log db gain is a 20 log a that is 20 a equal to what 10 okay that is normal gain okay this is 20 log a scale Okay, so here this is a 20 means but 20 log a equal to 20 a is 10 okay for example the graph of the gain of the amplifier at 100 Hertz is 20 log 20 dB then gain is 10 okay so this is a gain bandwidth is how much so this entire length is said to be bandwidth this is 0.1 to 10 power 5 so at this point this is 10 power 5 okay so 1 2 3 4 5 so this is 10 power 5 this is bandwidth into gain this is 10 power 6 this is gain bandwidth product okay so this is constant everywhere even if you take this point Okay, here what is the what is the um, bandwidth here? 100. Okay, gain is what? 20 log a equal to 80. a equal to you will get some figure. That value into this 100 will give us the same 10 power 6 value. So throughout this curve the gain bandwidth product is the same understand operational amplifier bandwidth so we will say that is the bandwidth minus 3 db point down from 40 db okay 
so this is 40 db you have to reduce minus 3 db 40 minus 3 is 37 db so if you project onto this we will get a frequency here so operation amplifier bandwidth is the frequency range over which the voltage gain of the amplifier is above 70.7% of minus 3 db frequency So 70.7% of minus 3 dB frequency. 70.7% are 3 dB frequency. Minus 3 dB frequency. 70.7 means 20 log 0.707. If you take that, if you do that value, you will get a minus 3 dB. Okay. Log value of numbers below 1, that is 0. Point values, that will give us a minus. So, 20 log of 0 0.707, 70% means 70 by 100, that is 0 0.707, that will give us 20 log, 7, 20 log 0 0.707 will give us minus 3 dB. Okay, so we have to consider this value. Okay, why we have to consider this value means these are half power frequencies. Okay, so these frequencies are called half power frequencies. So, if you are intended to operate at this point, so we can operate in between this range. So, in between this range, the power is good. Okay. So, in order to transmit something from one end to another end, the power should be good. Okay. The power may be maximum or at least a half of the power. So, in these two frequencies, half power frequencies, the power is maximum. Okay. So, minus 3 dB. Point. So from this part, this frequency we have to consider. It's not required to this. We can consider from this frequency. Okay. So using the formula 20 log a, we can calculate bandwidth as an amplifier as 37 is equal to 20 log a. Then a is anti log a, that is 70.7. What is gain bandwidth product by gain? It will give us it will give us bandwidth. So we will get it as 14 kilohertz. And uh, this is a 10 power 4, that is 10 kilohertz. And this point is a 14 kilohertz. Okay, so this is pictorially we will get it as 14 kilohertz. By doing some mathematics, we will get the same. So this is a 37 dB, 20 log this, and go using the gain bandwidth product, we get the same. Okay, so gain bandwidth product in the earlier case we got like this 10 power 6. So 10 power 6 by gain 70.7 will give us. 14 kilohertz that is the bandwidth of the amplifier. So bandwidth of amplifier at again 40 dB is given as 14 k 40 kilohertz. 14 kilohertz one point. Okay. So what it means bandwidth of the amplifier for 40 dB gain. Okay. This is the 40 dB gain and its bandwidth is 14 kilohertz. Okay means it will allow the frequencies up to 14 kilohertz beyond that the gain is reduced i am applying a signal with a frequency 50 kilohertz now i won't get uh, this much of gain i will get only this much of gain i won't get 40 db gain but i will get uh, around 25 db or like that okay gain is reduced means output voltage is also not as effective as desired okay so this bandwidth and gain are very very important how much input signal frequency I can give to this amplifier means I should have some idea on this graph gain bandwidth gain curve. Okay, this is called magnitude plot. Magnitude body plot, we will say this is magnitude plot. So we should have some idea on this. And what should be the maximum input frequency I can apply to this amplifier to get the fruitful output? If I apply so my amp range of frequencies is only 14 kilohertz. If I apply a 50 kilohertz signal, means I won't get a good output right? because my gain is not good at a 50 kilohertz somewhere here. This is 100 kilohertz, 50 kilohertz is somewhere here. At 50 kilohertz, my gain is not as effective as this. This is 50 kilohertz means my gain is only as this much and not this much. Okay. Next, these are the characteristics of ideal of amplifier. Open loop gain is infinity, 